Mix 107.9, 80s, 90s, now go ahead, Taylor Swift. I'm Mark Dancer. It's 8.43. Go ahead, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing. Uh, the Mixed Flick Chick is here. Hey, Kelly. Hey. Kelly Gingery reviews all the hot movies for us. We yeah. get her in first, so uh, she can save you some uh, movie-going money just uh -huh. in case. And uh, she can also point you out to movies that, that maybe you weren't thinking to see it. That's right. And uh, so uh, we've got a lot of movies opening this Oh, weekend. my gosh. But let's get down to business. You saw The Informant with Matt Damon. I did. Okay. What did you think of that? He's a bigger Matt Damon. You know, he gained weight for this. Thirty pounds. It doesn't wear. He wears like a rounded off nose and kind of. Uh, there's like he has cheek implants. He's, uh, <laughs> he does not look like Jason Bourne. No. There is no Bourne identity in there, honey. Okay. No. He's he and you know what? He's funny. He is funny, and yeah. you know he's funny in the Ocean's movies. Yeah. You know he, but and this is a comedy. Okay. But it's I just found it mildly amusing. Oh okay. And the You're the so tree. Nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I did laugh, so that's why. I mean, I say it's a thinking person's comedy. Uh -huh. And the tagline, one of the taglines, I think, is it's a smart comedy about a dumb guy. Yeah, because he's, he's like a, a whistleblower. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. He's, well, that, we were going to say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, and he. It's a true story about this guy, Mark Whitaker, oh, who right. um, was like, what did they call him? It's the, he's the highest ranking whistleblower in U.S. history, a corporate whistleblower for this agricultural business. He talk, he tells the FBI about price fixing, right. but you never quite know his agenda it, because even the FBI are like, okay, why are you coming to us? Well, I want to do good. You know, it's kind of interesting, but I thought it was a little bit long. It's Steven Soderbergh directed it, who did all those Oceans 11, 12, 13, 54, gotcha. and 65 okay. movies, you know? And he's friends with, with Matt Damon and George Clooney and Brad Pitt. They're all this big rat pack of guys. Right. And Steven Soderbergh likes to make movies like this and then maybe a movie like Ocean's Eleven that's going to be popular. So he right. likes to make okay. the smaller, right. interesting ones. So right. I would recommend it if you like Matt Damon because he is, he is great in it. He okay. really is. But it's just it's a little long. It's not as funny as I thought it was going to be, you know. That's okay. all. That's okay. what I'm going to say about that. Good deal. All right, that's the informant with Matt Damon. Let's yes. go to Jennifer's body. Uh-huh. Uh, Megan Fox, which you said should be called Megan Fox's body. Yes. And, uh, Diablo Cody, who wrote Juno, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like the it girl movie writer. For she the is. Years, she won so. the uh, Oscar for best original screenplay for Juno. This is um, what I'm hearing is occasionally it has clever dialogue, which uh, Diablo is great at. Mm -hmm. But the horror and comedy premise kind of falls flat. Okay. It, it's like not enough horror and not enough comedy. Okay. And so it kind of, but, but. It just it, misses the mark. It misses the mark. You know how they say that? I mean, it's, it's cool to look at and it's kind of funny. And I think teenagers will like it probably, right. but not love it. Like, it's not going to be, it's no Juno. Okay, okay. Rated R, Jennifer's Body. Yeah. Uh, love Happens. Uh-huh. Could we have a more boring title? <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Love Happens. Love happens. You know? Whoa. Woo! Inspired by the doo-doo occurs. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I know. You know, whatever. But um, Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. And it's pretty much, uh, I'm, what they're saying is kind of formulaic. If you know right. what that, that's a big, that's a big word. Yeah, formulaic. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> I know. I wasn't inferring that you didn't know that, honey. Um, <laughs> I'm with you so far. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Eckhart, who you I like probably, him. You know what? Yes, he's very he's he very like uh, he was in Batman. He was the oh! he was the bad guy in Batman. Harvey That's, Two Face yeah. or well, Harvey whatever, but he was also the boyfriend in Aaron Brockovich. Do you remember oh, okay, him, the sure. biker dude? Yeah. So he he is he is a chameleon. I like him cuz he's a chameleon, but yeah. here's the deal. What I've read, not a lot of chemistry between these two. Here's the thing. I keep watching Jennifer Aniston, and I'm sorry to say cuz I like her. Yeah. Is that she's like just seems like it's the same thing that she's doing in every movie, and she's the wistful uh, girlfriend, maybe, and she's getting typecast. And Hello. maybe she should like have, sh they should move on to she Could getting a little long in the tooth. Oh, that's a oh! Thing to say. wait a minute, honey. Now be careful now about long in the tooth. You're talking to never mind. <laughs> Anyways, she's gorgeous. And, and we like to see, you know what it is? All these people um, project themselves, and probably women, I'm not going to, on, on her and right. her situation. And so, you know, hello, Brad and Angelina. You know, everybody yeah. knows the backstory. And so you want to see her in a love story. Everybody wants her to fall in love. Everybody's waiting, right. and the tabloids included, <laughs> for her to just get married and be done with it and have a kid. So, Jennifer, stop making love happen. Yeah. Just get married and have a kid. Okay. And a more, dog. One more real quick. And this is the movie that I'm going to see this weekend yeah. with uh, my eight-year-old, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Exactly. Well, get that's 3D. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. 
And guess what, honey? It's going to be number one. It is going to be Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer's body, and the informant. It's going to be number one because the, the kit, there's nothing else out there to compete with it. Right. And, you know, Reviews come on. are good for it, too. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Right. It looks adorable, and it's 3D, and you, who doesn't want to see a meatball? I'd rather see Cloudy with a meatball than Jennifer. Uh, <laughs> I will have my 3D shades and my box of snow caps. And, I can't uh, wait to hear what you think. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kelly. We'll You're talk welcome. to you Tuesday for new DVDs. You will. It's the Fray, Mix 107.9, 80s, 90s now. What's up, Mark? Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Have you ever met Kelly? I don't believe so. Nope. Mark Hi, works in sales. Hi. Kelly reviews Kelly movies Gary. for me. Gotcha. So, Next yeah. check. Yeah. yeah. So. Wait a minute. Do you know my sister yes. Julie? Oh, okay. Yes. I was. I'm the I'm one. Just, you're the one. I'm the one. Yeah. I'm just everybody. Mark. I know. I, I wish. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew everybody. I wouldn't be here. Uh oh. <laughs> no, you wouldn't because you just like the people here. No, yeah. I mean, it's a heaty. Oh, well, honey. <laughs> wouldn't we all? <laughs> all right. I think that was the best.